Well, good morning, everybody. It's time to clean fish. Looky here what I have. Now, uh, Stump loaned this to me. He's had it for a long time and never used it. And since we are starting to pile up some fish around every time we go fishing, I'm going to try it out this morning. Now this is a tumble drum automatic fish scaler. I've never seen one in use. I have watched several videos of people that have these. And they're supposed to be uh, very good. So it's Let's see, it says it'll hold up to 50 pan fish. We have 27, so I'm gonna dump them all in there. And uh, let's see what it does. All right, let's take it outside and unbox it and take it outside. Well, here it is. I know the sun's shining on it and it may not be exactly perfect camera, whatever, but uh, that's okay. We get the general idea. And there's the drum and the pan that we got to put water in. I've read the instructions. And I've got it turned this way because I'm going to feed the fish in here. That's where the door is. Actually, the motor switch and all is right here. So, now the instructions say wash it before you use it. So, uh, I'm gonna do that right quick. Won't bore you at all that. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of soapy water and rinse it out good. And then we'll load the fish in there and turn it on and see what happens. All right, got everything rinsed out. If you can see right here, there's a little line in the forming of this pan here. And you're supposed to fill that with water. up to that line and we'll do that don't bore you with that so we'll come back when I get the water in there and we'll set the drum back in there alright just about set up the way this works inside here where these holes are very very sharp in other words punch through this turns turns the fish and knocks the scales off it's supposed to be it says it holds up to 50 pan fish so i think uh you got 27 and they're not really big most of them so we're going to try to put all of them in there at one time and let me get them loaded up in here and we'll turn it on and let it run All right, let's start putting the fish in. We're just gonna start loading them in. Like this. Put that big one in there. Boy, that's a nice fish. Is there any doubt who caught the big ones? <laughs> I like to mess with my, with my buddy. Now one thing I have thought, thought about on these, especially in the summertime down south here, if you have tap water, city water, when it gets really, really, really hot, the water comes out of the tap, the, even on the cold side, sometimes it's sort of almost lukewarm so that might be a problem I like my fish to stay very cold through the whole cleaning process but this little latch goes on here like that latches in so even now it's cool but it's not cold I think if we put a little bit of ice in that water it 
I don't think it would hurt a thing. And it's pretty cool out here this morning, so. And the water's not bad, so. There we go. Now, dry my hands off. And I've got this plugged into an extension cord. It's about time to redo my whole fish cleaning section out here. It's been here for 20 years. So. And add some more electric here and there. But we're going to turn it on. Just hit the switch. Set about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. See those holes coming around, the big holes? The scales are supposed to fall through there and wind up in the bottom. Ain't that cool? All right, we let it run. Let me check the time and we'll take a couple of them out and see. And it says if they're not done, after that amount of time, just turn it back on. So we'll see how it does. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Drum is really cold, which is a good thing. Let's uh, take one out and see. what we got here clean as a whistle except right under here which that gets cut off anyway got one on the ice That's the smaller ones. See if I can find one of them bigger ones. That's the bluegill. Just a tiny bit right in there. That's going to be a win. Now they're a little bit lighter color. So let's uh. You know, move the camera. We'll just go ahead and dump them out of there. The, the real big ones, I really want to check those. All right, may have left them in a little too long. But the uh, big ones. All right, nice and clean, it works. Now, I don't like that it takes off most of the tail, but that may have been me leaving them in there too long. Cause I like to fry that and eat it. But, uh, On a lot of fish, I think I'll use it again. See, you got a few right there still. And, uh, there we go. Automatic fish scaler. Now, got to do the rest of the dirty work. And get them ready for supper. Now, I've got to take this down before I do that and uh, wash it off good, rinse it off good, and let it dry, and it'll store it away for next time.
Here you go. Tumble drum fish scaler. Pretty good. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you later.